morning or is it afternoon but good morning or afternoon dear learners staff members seniors official business personalities that the mukulu elenga enene liambaranu on the Akoni Tate Shalumbu, O Director to Yelongo, Kaumekange Tate Apisai, Doctor Apisai Nendongo, the President of the Missionary and Development in Namibia, Tate Principal Nebinari Shuikpa Nawa Tafulele, Tate the May Payanja Ba Kumbuda Ndaza Tate Pita Kanu Yamavira Tate Sakiai Pinge Tate David Kanjaba Tate Andonya Kaume Kange Kopofingo Wagara Hatai Renge Koskola Cha the Haroku Kalanda Doroso Skora and Dirime Mandi, and the Kalandi Beguanon di Bo Tate Torofi, Nias Yanjaba, No Show Tate Heita Namuhe Amuhe and Pamurimo Katikatune. It is a great honor and privilege for me to stand before you today in my capacity as a new school patron. Now, before I proceed further, I just want us to sing. You are, Mr., you are the, the man in church. Can we sing? Do we remember Tate Johnny Pandeni? Yeah. We remember Comre Pandeni, we remember we remember, come we remember, we remember, come we remember, we remember forever. Thank you very much. May his soul rest in peace. You may be seated. Before we proceed, please may we raise again to give a moment of silence in the respect of the late Johnny Pandeni. Moment of silence, please. Dear learners, please could we give our Tate Pandeni, the late, a moment of respect and silence. Thank you very much. We may sit. Ladies and gentlemen, okay, allow me to narrate a story. I can see everybody when they were talking here, they were just facing this side. Can I face maybe to the learners? That would be much better for me because I have a story for them, not for you. <laughs> Sorry. Can you, can you all now listen? Can you all listen to what I have to tell you? Please. I think that the Tafulele, you are not doing your work. Eh? You are not doing your work at all because I don't see. Oh, do you want water or what is going on? Okay, I will give you water now when I'm going to talk. Ladies and gentlemen, allow me to narrate a story of a young man, 30 years at, who was a learner at this school, which at the time known as Okavu Combined School. This young man, not different from any learner sitting here today, he was from Oshipaya to school, he, he walked from Oshipaya to school with a bottle of Oshikundu, sometimes on a hungry stomach, a situation which may be familiar to many of you. He played soccer and other games. Having looked at him back, then one will not 
thought much of him. Ladies, gentlemen, my learners, let me fast track the history and to save time for today. Today, this young man, who of course is no longer a young man, is the first person standing here before you, as per my introduction by Mr. Kashindi earlier. Although my beginning was just humbled, as the rest of you sitting here today, I'm proud of my story to be part of and parcel of this school, and I'm truly humbled to be the new patron of this school. The first thing I would want to do as a school patron is to remind you learners of this school that your dream are varied, no matter the circumstances and the background you are. I'm speaking today as someone who may, whom, who for many years walk in your shoes and have gone through a comprehension of the obstacles which you may face today. I want you to take note, learners. A wise man once said, if you build a castle in the air, your work should not be lost. That is where they should be. Now put your foundation under them. It is your job alone to build the foundation of your dream. Everyone else around you can provide you with a platform, but the reality is building needs to be done by you and you alone. As I feel this huge step, that left by Mr. Kashindi. I know I'm not promised an easy journey, but if we want to go far, we need to work together. Work together as a community of Johnny Pandeni School. By the community, I do not only mean those directly involved in the schools such as learners, teachers, parents, but the entire community of Okavu, including general members of the public. Business community and church leader living within these vicinities of the schools, they should also contribute to the school. The African poem that says, it takes a village to raise a child must firmly be part of our community moving forward. I have also devised my own harambe like the president. I am having my own harambe to this school. The, my harambe to this school, it is going to be renovations of the school, building of the administration block, motivating teachers, learners to work hard, claiming back the boundary of the school that is taken by the strangers. That the Mukulu I will deal with you in this regard. I will because we need to build hostels we need to build facility for this school. And if you may look some 20 years back, this school used to have a fast land, but today it's been taken by the mushrooming of the Shabi, and which is very dangerous for our community. We should take note, if we are leaving them coming closer to the school, we have to know what we are doing, because that is a danger to the learners of my Johnny Pandemi. Yeah. One thing that I will also do that the Mukulu I'm not done with you, with your head man, I know that today I will face you because I need land, I need to build administration block, and I need also to build the hostel at this school. I'm going to give a petition 
a letter to your office and also to the office of the governor. I want to claim the Johnny Panden land here that was taken. I need the boundary to be in the divide before the end of this year. In my conclusion to the learners, Lena, I want you to listen to me very well. It seems that the Tafulere does not have a, a rotang here. I will bring it back. That the Kanyangera, that the Shalumbu, when we used to be at this school, there was a Sambok, but you are very lucky. This time around, I will bring it back. The Ministry of Education, they can come to me. I will bring it back. I want you, I have only two things that I want you to remember. These rules should be inside you and it should be inside the teachers. Study hard, rule number one. Rule number two, remember rule number one, which is study hard. Thank you very much.